Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn about date and time in Power Automate Desktop. So first what we will do is we will uh, drag and drop the get current date and time and when you open this action you will see uh, that you have uh, a parameter which is called as current date and time right and from here you can also choose the current date only right and then you have option to choose the system uh, time zone so you can choose the system time zone and then specific time zone and the variable which will be produced will be current date time right so when i run this bot it will give you date and time uh, based on your system time zone right so it is 7 54 55 am okay and then if you want to just get the date you can just select the date only and then run the bot and then you will get the output as your current date which is 22 12 2021 So if you want to add, I mean, if you want to add date and time, so you can say that you can choose the variable where you want to add it. And then you can add the unit that you want to add. So let's say I want to add one day. And the very produced result will be stored in the resulted date so if i run this bot you will see that it will give me the result at 23rd of december 2021 as you can see here it has given me the 23rd december 2021 is it possible to give uh, to get the yesterday's date so what you can do is just have to put the uh, value in minus and you will get the result uh, as per that so here you can see it is giving me the date of 21st of December 2021 same thing can be done with the other units like seconds minutes hours months and years so if in the year if I add minus 1 so it should give me uh, 22nd of December 2020 so the next action is subtract dates for the subtract dates what I have done is I have created a variable named as date 1 and I have given that uh, 12th of December 20 sorry 22nd of December 2021 as date 1 and in the, the date 2 I have given as 20th of December 2021 then what I have done is I have convert the text to date time because I want to subtract the date in the when I open this convert text to date time then I choose the choose the choose the variable name as date 1 and the value was stored in the text as date time and again I use the convert text to date time this action you can find in the text section you will find the convert text to date time and then i use the subtract dates so what i have done is so the greater value so the variable which is having the 22nd of december is text as date time so i will just replace it so that you can get the result in plus not in minus so text as date time and the other variable is text as date time too and i want the difference in days and the time difference will be the variable which will be holding the result right and when i run this bot you will see that it will have the value as difference of two days so if I make it, let's say, uh, you know, uh, 
let's say I'll make the date as 10th of December so you will see the difference of uh, those dates which will be around 12 days right so you can see the time difference as 12 so this is how you can work with the date and time in power automate desktop you can add if you want to add in the date you want to subtract the dates and you can also convert the text to the date time and once you have the date time for example let's say here I have a date time 2 as date and time right so if I say that okay convert date time to text then I'll choose the variable as text as date time 2 and and then result will be stored in the formatted date time and here I'll put the breakpoint and at the moment I've, if you see that the type of uh, this variable is date time right but when I will open the format date time variable it will be having the value as text So if you come here for my date time you see that the type of this value is text value right so this is how you can convert the date and time to the text and the the date and time as a string you can convert into a date time data type right if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question, please post it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.